Bill Loganiski, and today I'm going to answer many of the questions uh, people have asked me about uh, how I lost the weight uh, and why I call the diet the Saturday morning diet. The reason I call it the Saturday morning diet is because one of the things you have to do to lose the weight is to have a way to know where you started and where you are progressing. And one of the ways to do that is go to the bathroom first thing and then weigh yourself in every Saturday morning. And one of the ways to do that is have a chart where you started and what your weight loss is every week. Uh, myself, I started on May 22nd at 272 and a half pounds. As of uh, last Saturday, uh, I was 240 pounds. Uh, today is July 30th. Tomorrow I weigh myself in again and I should be another three pounds less breaking that 240 uh, target. Another thing that you should do is have a tape measure, know how much you weigh before you start the program, and measure yourself every week or so. Now let's talk about you and I and how we got to be fat. You and I are both fat because we're always hungry, and we're always hungry because we are fat. The reason we are fat is because we have not learned to eat small meals. Every two and three hours, instead we wait until we're truly hungry and eat like we would never see food again. Not understanding this reality is the cause of our overeating and packing in too much food, and as a result, we pack in too much fat. Some of us compulsively consume, whether the substance of choice is food, drugs, tobacco, alcohol, we are aware that consuming too much of anything could kill us, yet few of us have the power to stop, at least not easily. It's not easy when we don't know how. This is what the Saturday morning diet plan is all about, teaching you a way not to be hungry all the time and to finally kill the beast in your stomach. The bigger the sugar high from carbs, starch, and sugars, the greater the sense of satisfaction, but only for a little while, as you well know, causing the beast to awake and demand another huge meal until it eats the hunger. On our plan, you will learn how to control the highs and lows with low glycemic food so the beast won't the day with whole grain oatmeal. You have to feed the beast right away because think about it. The beast eats at least three times over the course of an eight-hour period. While we're sleeping for eight hours, the body is still burning calories, but the beast is not being fed. Throw him a bowl of oatmeal and let him go back to sleep. A couple of more hours, you will notice your hunger pains diminish over time. It's a tool to train the beast. We have to learn to consume foods that are high in volume, but not calories. You are better off eating a filling bowl of oatmeal than a stack of pancakes, a bagel, a peanut butter sandwich. It's not big portions that make you eat more. It's big portions of calories. We should eat to live, not eat to die. Let's talk about the feed bag, the metamucil, the water, and the salad. My feed bag has everything I need to carry with me, and it's crucial to have this bag with you. I have my half gallon of water, as I explained to you the last time. You should have eight cups of water or half a gallon of water. It's not that hard to do. I have my Metamucil, uh, not in my feed bag, but I have my peanut butter. I have my Joan bars, our meal replacement bars that uh, Joan showed you how to make. The next thing I have is uh, during the course of the day, I want to have something other than water to drink. I recommend uh, Arizona green tea, a diet green tea with ginseng and honey. No calories. A nice 23, can, uh, uh, 23 ounce can will fill your belly and uh, you won't be hungry. Uh, other thing you can do, you can pick up a can of Slim Pass during the day. It's, uh, more calories than I like to consume, it's 180 calories, but if you're watching it, this is a good product. The other thing we use is uh, little packets of Skippy peanut butter to carry in our feedback. So that basically is the plan. Now, a lot of people have asked me about the Metamucil. Metamucil is not necessarily something to make you go to the bathroom. What Metamucil does 
scrapes the lining of your intestines. In fact, there was a doctor many years ago told me, if you take two tablespoons of Metamucil, you will never have polyps. And that's an important thing to keep uh, your health. Another thing that uh, Joan just brought in today, Joan normally picks up this uh, salad greens uh, pre-packaged, and it's a nice little package as all the salad greens, you should get two to three salads of it. Today she came in with a great, a great buy, and this is a packet for ten dollars that she got of uh, salad green already made, and it's easy to make a salad. Look at that for ten bucks. So look for this some in the supermarkets where you shop, and you might be able to get a good deal. Let me. Know